Guam, a tiny island in the Pacific with massive military importance. As tensions rise across the Indo-Pacific, the United States is fortifying this strategic outpost with one of the most advanced missile defense systems in the world, the Guam Defense Shield. But what exactly is this shield? Why is it a game changer in the Pacific theater? And how does it protect U.S. assets, allies, and 170,000 civilians on the island? Let's break it all down. Located roughly 6,000 miles from the U.S., mainland but just 1,800 miles from China, Guam is America's frontline post in the Pacific. It hosts Anderson Air Force Base and Naval Base Guam, critical for power projection. In any potential conflict with China or North Korea, Guam would be both a launch pad and a target. And that's why defending it is not just a priority, it's essential. The Guam Defense Shield is a layered, integrated missile defense system built to defend against ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, drones, and hypersonic threats. Components include the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, Aegis Ashore, Patriot Missile Systems, SPY-6 Radars, Iron Dome are similar for drone and short-range threats. Together, these form a dome of protection, a shield, surrounding the island. THAAD, already operational in Guam since 2013, intercepts missiles during their terminal phase when they re-enter the atmosphere. But now, Aegis Ashore will take Guam's defense to the next level. It brings SM-3 and SM-6 interceptors, capable of hitting medium and intermediate-range ballistic missiles, even hypersonic glide vehicles. Aegis Ashore in Guam essentially replicates the defensive power of a warship, planted firmly on land, and always ready. You can't hit what you can't see, that's why detection is key. The U.S. is deploying SPY-6 radar arrays. Over the horizon early warning systems, space-based tracking integration. This network allows for faster reaction time and higher accuracy, linking Guam's defense into the broader U.S. Indo-Pacific command architecture. Guam's defense isn't just about the island, it's part of a regional network. Systems in Japan, South Korea, and even Australia are designed to coordinate and respond in real time. Allied forces can share tracking data, expanding the shield far beyond Guam's shores. In essence, Guam is the centerpiece of an expanding missile defense umbrella over the Pacific. Let's not forget the threats. In 2025, the U.S. faces DF-26 Guam killer missiles from China, North Korean ICBMs and submarine-launched missiles, drone swarms and cruise missiles from hostile actors, the Guam Shield is specifically designed to neutralize these evolving threats before they reach their target. Of course, no defense is perfect. Critics argue the Shield may provoke escalation or spark a regional arms race. Others worry about system gaps, budget overruns, or saturation attacks that overwhelm defenses. Still, Pentagon officials insist Guam's defense is non-negotiable, a line in the sand America is unwilling to cross. By 2026, the U.S. aims to have a fully integrated, 360-degree defense of Guam, AI enhanced command systems, autonomous drones for early intercept, directed energy weapons under test. The Guam Defense Shield is not just a response to current threats, it's a prototype for the future of island defense worldwide. In the end, the safety of Guam is more than strategy, it's a statement, a message that the U.S. will defend its territory, protect its people, and lead the future of missile defense in the Pacific. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, do you think Guam's defense is strong enough? This is Defense Decrypted, where military tech meets global strategy.